guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is going to be super fun and i'm so excited i've wanted to do this video for a really long time but i just kind of forgot about it for a while i am going to be kind of giving you guys a walk through kind of day in my life of a girl who has a clothing reselling slash thrifting business so basically i'm going to take you guys thrifting with me i'm going to explain the ins and the outs of how to start a reselling business and how to be successful my main platform that I use is Instagram. I do use Poshmark and Depop sometimes, but mainly I do use Instagram. I'm gonna be kind of talking to you guys about like everything that I do, kind of how I make sales, how I grow my engagement and my audience and my following so that I can make more and more sales and sell more stuff. So yes, it's gonna be super fun and I'm so excited. So we're gonna be starting off by first obviously going to a couple thrift stores. I'll probably go to two or three. Just get some things and then I'll show you guys how I take the pictures of my clothing, how I edit them, and then how I post them, what I say in the caption and stuff like that. And then I'll kind of give you guys my little story of when I started reselling and kind of go from there. Oh, and then I will show you guys how I package up and ship out my packages tomorrow morning. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope that it helps you. If it does, or if it at least just entertained you, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below for new videos each week. All right guys, let's go thrifting. All right guys, so I just got in my car, but I realized that I really want coffee. So I'm gonna stop at the coffee shop and probably get a caramel latte with almond milk because that is my favorite drink to get. And I'm super excited. So it's time to get caffeinated because I went to the gym this morning, um, came home, kind of cleaned up a little bit. Oh my gosh. And I made a smoothie, but I really want some caffeine right now. Like I feel like I just need to like get going. The gym took so much out of me. I just like, I feel numb. So we're gonna get some coffee and then we will be on our way thrifting. guys so I just made it to our first Goodwill and I knew that this would happen but I drank way too much caffeine the size of my coffee was like this big which isn't even that much but I am just really sensitive to caffeine and it affects me so I am like <laughs> ah I need to like scream and like run a lap to like get all this energy out but I am gonna go to the bathroom first because I have to pee so bad from all that coffee that I just drank so I'm about to pee my pants, so I will see you guys in a couple minutes in the thrift store. The lighting is so bad in here, but this dress is so cute. It's like a really long black dress. So cute. I love it. I'm finding so many dresses right now. It's so exciting. Like literally, all of these are so cute. I'm obsessed with them. section because I can usually find better things like better quality things if I'm looking for like sweatshirts and crew necks I usually go and look to the men's section just because it's easier to find stuff I always like to check to make sure that there's no stains because if I get home and realize that there's a stain on it that I can't get out really frustrating since I already paid for it but I try to look for better quality things in the men's section because you can usually you're more likely to find brands like Adidas and stuff in the men's section because it's like sportier not saying that girls aren't sporty it's just kind of easier to find from what I've noticed this Goodwill for some reason I usually find a lot more stuff in the women's section which is interesting but guys I just found the coolest jean jacket 
it has a little boot stain on the back, but I think it kind of looks cool. vintage brands and I usually look for like a mom jean fit because that seems to be really popular but yeah those are usually the brands that I try to look for or Lee is also a really good brand college gear if you can find it is an absolute must um, college gear sells really well reselling pages especially on Instagram for like girls who are like still in high school and sororities because it's college and if they're in a sorority they definitely want to sport their college and stuff like that so I find that getting college gear can definitely help boost your sales a lot all right guys excuse my mess of a trunk but $50 later and I got two huge bags of stuff so I am gonna grab the receipt show you guys how I calculate um, how much I pay for everything. You guys can hear me over the air blowing in my car, it's just really hot in here. But basically the way that I calculate how much I spent on is instead of going through and seeing how much each item is, I just take the total number that I've spent and I divide it by every single item that I've purchased. So that just makes everything the same price. So let's count how many things I got. All right, so after dividing um, like the 51 that I spent divided by the 14, the 14 items that I got, it came out to around $3.60 per item, which isn't bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and round up to $4 for each item and then have that extra like couple cents for each item add up as like gas money because I do like to consider the fact that I am using my gas to drive to go thrift. So I do add that price on to the items. I'm gonna hit up one more thrift store just because I found so much at that thrift store. I'm just gonna go to one more and then we will be on our way back home. And of course I have to pee again like really bad. So let's hope that I can get to this other thrift store pretty quick. All right, I'll see you guys there. I'm hoping that I find some good stuff in this one since it's the last good one I'm going to today. So I will keep you guys updated. Alrighty guys, so I know that I didn't really film that much in there. Um, I just kind of wanted to get in and out because it is almost 4 o'clock at this point and I want to make sure I'm able to get home and take pictures though I will see you guys when I get back home. Also I found lots of cool stuff and I promise I'll show you guys. Okay guys, so I just got home and these are all of the clothes that I got. Three big bags. I'm currently eating popcorn because I'm so hungry. All I had today was a really tiny smoothie. It was probably equivalent to like a 12 ounce smoothie. And then I had a medium coffee which has two shots of espresso and that's literally all I've eaten all day. So I'm starving. So basically what I'm gonna do now is kind of show you guys what I got show you guys like what type of stuff that I make sure to look out for when I went to the thrift store. I'm really glad that you guys can't see my room because it's an absolute wreck. There's clothes that I need to fold. There's clothes that I have to put away. It's just a mess. So bear with me. So I'm just going to show you guys a couple things like a couple of my favorite things that I got just because I did get a lot of stuff and this video is going to be so long if I go through everything. But I found this super cute maxi dress. And if you guys look at the pattern up close, it's so cute. I found this kind of vintagey blush floral dress. Guys, look how cute this is. I'm sorry the lighting's bad. It is almost like five o'clock here, so it is getting a little bit like dimmer outside. I found a super cool patterned t-shirt. It does have a stain, so I think I'm gonna crop it, but I just thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. Eh. 
is this super cute kind of eyelet dress and it ties like this in the back. The brand is Kimchi Blue, which I believe is a, what the heck is it called? Urban Outfitters brand. This is like the one thing that I was so excited about. It is a Walt Disney purple Mickey crew neck. Look at the little Mickey. It's so cute. Guys, I found these jeans. The back has little butterflies on it. And the front has these really cool little buttons. And then some more little like butterflies and rips in them. So I found some Levi mom jeans. And I usually try to buy my jeans pretty big because usually if they're bigger, girls can still fit into them. Like, like you know, tinier girls can still fit into them with a belt. So it kind of gives a wider variety of options of who would buy it, you know? So cute. I'm gonna kind of demonstrate to you guys how I go about taking pictures for my account. I usually just set up my camera against my door because it's just like a blank space. You can see back there, it's like white. So yeah, we are gonna go ahead and get into taking pictures. So let's go. <music> guys so that is essentially how I take pictures of my clothing I didn't do everything I just kind of wanted to show you guys like how I did it I do take pictures with the clothing on I know that some people who resell don't take pictures of them wearing it I guess it really depends if it fits me or not because if things are too small obviously they're not gonna look good on me all right so as far as editing the pictures go I don't really do much to it other than just kind of adjust like the brightness and the contrast a little bit because sometimes when it's darker in my room, it can just look kind of weird. So I try to like pull up the brightness a little bit, just make it look more presentable without altering the actual color of the item or making it look different because then that would be like false advertising. Definitely make sure your pictures look presentable. As far as engagement, um, like hashtags, kind of getting your posts out there, the things that I did to kind of kickstart my thrifting page was definitely, definitely, definitely make sure that you're using hashtags that relate to your post. You don't wanna put like hashtag, you know, love or hashtag sports because that doesn't have anything to do with what you're posting. But yeah, relatable hashtags will actually draw people in as long as it's relating to what you're selling. I've also noticed, and I guess this could be different with most people depending on like what your account looks like. And that's another thing is that you really wanna make your account look presentable you want to make it look clean and you want to make it look structured and you want your feed to just overall blend and flow. You don't want to be like one picture super dark and then the other one's super sat saturated and the other one's like super bright and then the next one's like really cool toned and the other one's really warm toned if you're kind of catching my drift. You want everything to essentially look the same if that makes sense. You don't want to have like different filters on all your posts. So I actually use the app Darkroom. So I just made my own filter. So it makes it super easy when I go in to edit pictures when I have like 20 things I'm editing and just like hit the one filter for each thing. Back to engagement, definitely try to follow a lot of people who you're trying to target. So what I do, and I think that this has actually helped me to grow a pretty good amount. I've definitely gained a couple hundred followers from it is to go on other resellers accounts if you are selling on Instagram, which is essentially what I'm kind of making this video about, just because that's what I'm doing. I like to go on other resellers accounts and look at the people who are commenting on their posts, look at the people who are like bidding on their stuff and follow those people. You wanna follow people who are engaged in the reselling community, because if you're just following random people, those people might not even be ordering stuff off of Instagram. You want to go through the people who are liking their pictures, who are commenting on their posts, and who are essentially engaging with them the most. And you want to follow those people because that way they're going to see your account and they're going to think, oh, a new reselling account. Let me check it out. And then you could possibly gain some sales from them, which has actually happened to me before. It actually does work. Recently, the algorithm has been really working against the reselling community. Make sure that if you are going to start reselling clothes, that you have the time to put into constantly posting stories, 
constantly posting grid posts, even if it's not closed, even if you haven't had time to go thrifting all week, which has happened to me, post a picture of you and just be like, hey guys, little update, blah, blah, blah. I do that or I'll ask people a question. That's the one thing you really wanna do. You wanna get comments because the more comments, the more likes you get, the more followers you're gonna get. This is why people do giveaways and this is why the reselling community also does giveaways. Basically, they will get a bunch of girls together who all are resellers and they'll all pitch in money and on each of their pages, they will post a giveaway, all for the same item. And that way you're getting cross, like you're crossing customers with other girls. So you're getting other girls' customers, other girls are getting your customers. It just works out great for everyone. And I would totally recommend doing giveaways, especially if you're a smaller account and you just started, it's gonna help to get your name out there. The main thing that you guys need to remember if you're planning on starting to resell on Instagram is do not get discouraged. It can be really, really frustrating sometimes when you're going out and spending your hard earned money on clothing to resell and no one wants it. It sucks. And you will learn what types of items people want and what types of items people don't want. Tomorrow morning, I am going to ship out all of my packages and stuff that people have ordered, ship out all my clothes that people have ordered for me this week so I can get them out before I leave to go camping with my family tomorrow afternoon. I'm gonna get all of those packages out using an online shipping website, which is so much easier if you're shipping out like big batches of clothes. Um, and you can save a lot of money than just going to like your USPS and paying them to ship it for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure thrifting with me today. I am going to go relax for the rest of my night because it's literally like a little mini job slash side hustle that I have. So it takes a lot out of you when you're running around thrifting all day. I will see you guys tomorrow morning to ship out some packages. So this is basically the setup that I have. Um, each day I set up all of my clothes that I'm shipping out. Excuse my room. It's an absolute wreck. As you can see, I have like 10 packages I'm shipping out. Basically, this is the website I use. It's called Ship Pirate. I'm not going to go down below because I don't want you guys to see my address but basically it gives you the option of package to select and you just choose like one of these packages and then you measure it out and enter all of that in there you put their address and everything and it's super easy and then all you do is just hit purchase label and that's literally all you do and pirate ship or ship pirate or whatever the heck it's called is a really cheap shipping website which I love so I'm going to go ahead and pack all of this stuff up and I will see you guys in like an hour my time, um, one second your time. <laughs> there are so many packages in here. There's like almost 10 I think, which is actually not that much, but considering how slow I've been on the shop this week, it's, it's a pretty good amount. I did want to briefly talk about this little book that I have right here. It's the book that I use to track my sales each month. I have September written. And then if you flip the page, you can see these are all of the stuff that I've sold in September. Then I write down like, you know, the profit that I made that much or whatever. And it's just a really nice way to kind of keep everything in track to figure out like what profit you're making off of everything. Anyways, I hope that kind of made sense a little bit. Um, yeah. But if you guys are interested in checking out my thrifting account and kind of like getting some inspiration, feel free to message me on there. I'm always down to, you know, give new up and coming accounts some advice or help or anything if you guys need it. So I hope you guys liked this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of it. All right, guys, have a great day.